welcome back to my channel and today we are making this uh, card uh, it's kind of a camping card and I'm using here these critters and these all the stamps are from MFT stamps a long time ago they have the kit about all these critters and nice papers and I still left all of that and when I saw this honeybees new adventure a theme uh, uh, paper pack and I bought some products also if you saw my video before and it is so beautiful and I thought that they're gonna go together very very nicely and I really want to use that paper to create this kind of uh, card so here I decided for that window I use the Simons's window I go ahead and take it out those windows uh, two times from the paper first of all i thought that let's make a shaker card and just put these animal behind that window and it will look really nice so here i'm creating the trifold card and for that i'm cutting and going back forward and somehow i'm not getting what i want to do but you can see at the end um i will get what exactly i want to do and this is the simon's window um uh, die cut out die um i'll link all the supplies in the end of the video or uh, you can go to my blog and see there i'll post more video uh, video sorry the photos video as well as the thing so what happened when i tried to make this card i don't know how the, some of the parts got missing where i created the first, first window and die cut out it and colored it uh, but then i thought i can't recreate that because it's kind of thick so it's okay to do that and then i just stamp put a stamp out all these critters on the nina solar white card and then started coloring them in the spectrum nori um color markers i'll call markers now after a long time i use those nowadays i'm mostly using the watercolors and watercolor zig clean color markers uh, so it's it's like it's kind of ages that i don't use them so i was like uh, whether they will work or not but they work really fine uh, some of them are dried out uh, but i think they dried out way before and uh, one or two are got dried out so i'm not refilling them or i'll um, just work with what i have so when I choose this paper for the main thing, I already stamp these two stamps there that warm fuzzy wishes and our friendship is adventure. And then I'm kind of pulling out those colors from these um, coloring these critters and all these like the moose and that tent and the small fireplace and that like you know, one funny bear is taking uh, holding a stick with that marshmallow and that bonfire i really like all that concept and i don't want to go too much in that i thought this paper is already prepped there so i have to just uh, color the critters and then i gonna put them all together just like that so there is another thing which i want to do for this card but i didn't do that you can do the opening kind of window uh or you can just stick it so my window is kind of stuck there or you can create a shaker card out of it uh, by putting the acetate behind it and you can put some of the critters inside and you can close the back uh but i really want this card interactive and i have something in my mind uh, that you can see that what is that surprise which i'm like kind of planning to do with all this stuff and uh, coloring is pretty easy i didn't do like much crazy job here most of the times i do the same thing and yeah although i using this uh markers after a long time and i can't find my uh scratches uh, swatch there that where i put the all the color chart uh but still i'm able to manage by just putting the colors here and there and i'm quite quite happy but when i started this card i don't know which critter i use how much i use and so i decided that i gonna color them in a two different shades and i just choose at that moment what i like and i see going back and forth and placing them on my card like which one is going good and which one is looking cute on it and definitely i love that moose and the owl i decided to put that and so this uh, mft kit is came long time before i don't even remember that when it came and uh, 
uh, this um, full dye uh, die cutouts and they have also papers with that and I have so much stuff sometimes I thought that I want to create uh, more of out if and whenever I clean up the craft room <laughs> I think that I should just you know donate something or just give something else still sometimes I found this stuff and like oh I want to create this with that and sometimes I got the new product and I just got like oh I have that one I can use that product with this so that mixing and matching is going on but I don't know that uh, these stamps and dyes still uh, their um, MFT with MFT or not so you have to find something else if you are not finding the same dies and you want to create the same kind of card here you can uh, do any small critters and that gonna look nice or any camping stamp will do well with this and uh, we lived in a Colorado uh, near the Denver so we have the Rocky Mountains near our home it's a kind of one and a half hour drive from here and whenever I saw these honeybees trees it just remember me that mountain and the uh, area around it uh, area around the Colorado Springs and it is so beautiful and I try to recreate means it just happened I try to recreate when we go once for a trail there and I decided that I will do just uh, you know quick coloring with the watercolors and all those trees and my kid was playing in that Colorado River and um, and then after some time just this um, thing come up and I saw oh my god this adventure collection is so good so I grab whatever I can at that moment uh, although I like the full collection but I didn't buy the full one and then um, means every time I decided that I have enough I don't want to buy more stamps or more stuff or more new things but um, at this moment when I saw that okay I want this this is gonna work very well with other projects also for other days coming and I need to make more masculine cards so that you know I can um, send them to someone else the teachers also uh, so I thought why not <laughs> and then I decided to buy it so yeah these are very good uh, and nice you can see the father's day card or masculine card I made and I will soon come with that lotus um, thing again so here I'm not doing much I'm just coloring these critters trying to put everything together with the colors as I told you before uh, so I thought why not I share this the small story and um, like <laughs> it will be the nice one so nowadays I'm doing more watercolor and everything out there and I'm so happy with all the mixed media going on and watercolor but I thought that uh, this channel is more about the card making so I decided to uh, make another channel out of um, for that uh, painting and coloring stuff where I can share my traditional um, art as well as the contemporary and new kind of art where everybody can go with that uh, so soon I'll post those links and I'm just kind of working on that and soon I'll share a little glimpse of that channel also that what you can see on that channel and what you can expect and uh, I thought that it would be really a nice idea to separate these both uh, channels uh, so oh my god lots of chatting and talking and here the coloring is going on by the way I'm doing the voiceover I speed up this process like three times sometimes I do more than three times because it took a lot of time to create a card sometimes it's a thinking process sometimes kids came sometimes many things happen in around so kind of doing the same thing the live videos like uh, doing in a real time it's kind of a hard job for me um because i have seven years old and he always needs something and right now we had a summer break so we are doing many things together so yeah uh, camping is always fascinating for him so rather than that I just want to tell you that I use the kind of purple color for the first one kind of creating a shadow although it got mixed never use a black for the shadow use the grays or any tint and shade but don't use the black and then I'm just uh, kind of happy with all the those two tone colors moves so um, one day we are just talking about the animals and then we think that oh the zebra they never have the same patterns and I was like wow that's a nice thing and my kid was like yeah now I whenever I saw the zebra I will see that first zebra and second zebra have same pattern or not and it is so difficult to see that way 
uh, if you have photographs you can compare so that thing is kind of we are talking at this moment and then I thought why not I should color these moves in different colors like on the first one I have a little different shade on and inside I have a little bit different shade and um, yeah and that that turned out really nice so for the forefront panel I just cut out the uh, uh, the watercolor paper and then I cut out that window from that salmon says die cut out and then I just use the another MFT scallop border dies you know, to get that kind of frame because that yellow is looking too much yellow and first of all I thought either I can color that in top it should be sky blue and in the bottom it should be green or something like that but somehow I want to kind of giving that theme like we are seeing from inside to out something like that so i don't want to make it fully green and then i cut out the another panel now you can see that and then i was like i want to stick that together so what mistake i did here yeah i want to share my mistakes also so that you will not do that <laughs> you will create better than me so here i'm just creasing those things so while doing that i should cut out these two panels before and kind of line it them before and here i use that foam tape because i want a dimension and uh, that is kind of double sided tape i should not use that cut uh, when you have kind of sticky um tape around it uh, you don't have much thing to move um i should use the glue and the foam uh, fun foam or something like that okay uh, but thing is like that then i decided that i'll put all those windows together and stick together i don't like that white portion i don't know why it is kind of stuck in my eyes and then i'm kind of lining up that thing and i'm quite successful i can say that i'm quite successful but just adjusting here and there and then i just decided to stick all the stuffs together and um, you can see that i'm little bit struggling with that but this paper is so beautiful you can use that paper for front of any window also or you can create a christmas card as out of it uh, i think it would be such a beautiful christmas card with all these greens and you know you can put a big tree the same from the same adventure honeybees adventure thing and then <coughs> you can you know just decorate that and you can put that behind where i'm putting the owl and the, uh, this thing uh, what moose but uh, yeah i'm just dreaming of the excess cause i i initiated with like i need more paper because i know that i don't have any room to move also uh, so basic idea is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to create here a triangle and my idea is i'm gonna put the candle inside and it will look like oh it's a real bonfire going on there although just because of the lights and everything i tried to switch off the lights and do another thing but it didn't work that way it means but in real life it looks so beautiful that turn out so nicely that color and everything goes so nicely and for the back panel you can stick your friends photos also we are going to campaign together or you can stick your family campaign thing you can put it like a hang like a lalten lalten or something like that i bet yeah i'm i'm really planning to put that way and uh, i really i really like how it turned out and then i just put some of the dots on those door knobs and add little bit brown to creating more texture and golden which part um sorry i don't have that part i don't know how i missed that and uh, maybe i forgot to turn off the camera so uh, see you next time i hope you like today's project stay tuned with me subscribe to my channel if you like it and love to see your comments bye bye have a crafty life